Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kyra here with another Guardian Tales video. And in today's video, I want to talk about the effect I always look for in a character. This is going to be one of the top priority abilities that I look for in Guardian Tales that I think is really impactful and uh, really makes evaluating characters, whether they're good or not, a lot simpler. So before I get into this video, if we can get a like on this video, that'd be awesome. Also, subscribe to the channel for more Guardian Tales content. And lastly, we have an active Discord, so be sure to join that if you're interested. The link is down in the description below. So back into the video here, the main thing that regardless, if I see this effect or this style of effect on a character i'm immediately interested and i want to see more about the character and the effect that i'm talking about here is if we go to the book so characters let's start with f because she was the first one that had this effect and it's on her bx weapon and the effect that i'm talking about here is this decreases dark type resistance by 20 percent for three seconds that's the kind of effect that i'm really looking for there's a few characters that have it it used to just be her but now we have muriel and we also have uh, gabriel that has it in for each respective type of character will have it so uh, beth has it for dark gabriel has it on her ex weapon for light she also kind of technically has it built into her main kit but what her ex weapon does is if you look here on her main attack here the sound of heaven afflicts a bow and shoots out a sound wave reduces light type resistance by 20 percent for three seconds for an enemy hit by the last attack her ex weapon makes it every attack will reduce it immediately which over time in a dps scenario that's absolutely massive and almost uncomparable so you really want to have the ex weapon for her these are the kind of characters that I look for these effects, but if they're tied to the EX weapon, it almost makes the EX weapon absolutely mandatory to really get the full benefits of these characters. So if you're looking for characters that are quote unquote good values or might not necessarily need the EX, these will not be those characters. And then lastly, Mayreal is one here too. Hers is a little unique. Normal, uh, her normal normal attack with no EX weapon, which is launch spell bullets concentrated with Terra energy to flick damage. But if we look at her EX weapon here, it makes it massively better. On critical hit, increases movement speed by 5% for 5 seconds. And reduce earth type resistance by 5%. This effect can overlap up to four times. So you can get 20% movement speed and you can get 20% earth resistance. And it seems to be at the moment that the 20% reduction is the reduction that they're keeping consistent with everyone. However, they're being creative with how it actually is applied, but 20% is as far as they're gonna go. But this is going to go, uh, especially when it comes to mono teams, this is really going to increase the damage output potential of the, these comps massively. Light, dark, and earth are the only elements that have this capability at the moment. Right now, fire, basic, you know, water comps could really benefit from this, but they don't have this capability at all yet. So they're missing out on a, on a significant high amount of DPS that only these elements are able to take advantage of. Then the other kind of character that I want to talk about that is very similar to this, but slightly different is going to be characters in Nari and Grimmery, where they have auto attacks where it throws enhanced fox speed to decrease enemies range defense by 20% for three seconds. She has that and also Grimmery has it on her auto attack where she's able to reduce defense just straight up off her auto attack. I like these more and I also did a video about this. So if you want to check that out, I'll probably pin it somewhere. But having it built in on their auto attack, not on their EX weapon, in my opinion, is infinitely better than anything like the, the those other ones. I really like those other effects too because they're just such powerful effects that you kind of have to take them with how you get them, whether it be on an EX, stuck to a type. That's another thing too, it being stuck to an EX weapon means that it's stuck to that type. Whereas I can get this defense reduction regardless of what weapon I want to use. Does not matter. I will always be applying a 20% defense reduction if I am using this character, which I think is really good, which allows these kind of characters to be infinitely more splashable than characters like Beth, Gabriel, and Muriel, which are always going to be locked in to whatever respective element they're in, which I think is good. I'm not looking for them to be splashable. It would just be boring. It would just be finding the best characters regardless, and then you just force them in. Whereas I like certain characters that have these unique effects that are, okay, this character is going to be good in an element team. This character is splashable. Like I like the options here that we got that they're allowing us to have in this game so i'm not complaining i'm just saying that these are really powerful effects but i would say the defense reduction built into just the auto not the ex is better and whenever i see effects like this in game it immediately piques my interest on how good this character could potentially be that effect that alone that's all you need to see to know that that's a very powerful effect and you want to do some more research especially if it's a new character whether or not you should pull for it or not seeing that effect there is is really going to go a long way in justifying that character's existence because if we talk about every single one of those characters that i just mentioned all of them are amazing all of them are used in arena Coliseum, uh really good in raiding uh really good in just all game modes these are some of the best characters in the entire game and they all have very similar effects like we've shown here i think i made my point on this wanted to bring this to your guys's attention to kind of get you hopefully this kind of clues you in on just how powerful effect is if 
life characters come through instead of, you know, ideally goal here is to make it to where watch enough of these videos, you can evaluate characters on your own. You know, you're making a good or bad decision on a character uh, without having to ever ask me a thing. That would be the goal here. So hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit. Let me know in the comments below if you have any more specific questions or just things you guys want to discuss. Direct that towards the comments. Also, again, be sure to join the Discord if you want to talk all things Guardian Tales. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like the video. That really helps out the channel. And with that, guys, I am out. Peace.